text, field of vision, protests in Hong Kong have traditionally been defined by a commitment to peaceful, rational, nonviolent action, or in Cantonese, Wo Lei Fei. A man pulls a cart alongside him as he runs down the street in Hong Kong. He approaches a small group of people. Subtitles. Hey, where's the Bank of China? Excuse me, where's the Bank of China? We even have to ask people where it is. How should I know? Aren't you looking for it? It's to the right. The group begins to walk. A long line of police vehicles with sirens blaring and lights flashing approach. Subtitles. Go downwards. Go downwards. Is that the one? Little Tiger? October 4th, 2019. The group begins to run. Subtitles. Bank of China. Bank of China. They continue to walk. Subtitles. Everybody walk away. The Bank of China is closing today. This door can't be messed with, but that one. Be quick. Can we open the door? Find a way to break in. Let the four of us try. Guys, come on and help. Let's do it. One, two, three. They attempt to pull open a metal security door on a storefront. Subtitles. What the fuck? Oi, fuck, oi, oi, fuck, fuck. You should have told us earlier. Go, 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 go. An alarm is triggered. The group runs away. Subtitles. Also burn the cart. Also burn the cart. Just two boxes left. Finish them. A member of the group sets fire to the inside of a store. Text. Do not split. In June 2019, protests began in Hong Kong over a proposed bill allowing extradition of criminal suspects to the Chinese mainland. Chinese courts have a conviction rate of 99%. The Hong Kong Legislative Council would not be given oversight into the extradition process. Text. September 6, 2019. Scenes of protest in Hong Kong at night. Riot police stand ready. Subtitles. You will be split up and then arrested. Do you think this is worth it? To those who are on your way home from work, we advise you to leave the area immediately. I guess the police will, you know, you know, find the tear gas, maybe some bullets, and then came out, you know, maybe over 100, and maybe some of us will get caught. Of course, they will get bitten. The woman runs along the street beside protesters. She yells, the dogs are out. We used to, you know, call the root of law is our value. But now, I don't really find it here. You know, so this is one thing I'm defending. Also, we used to have a lot of freedom. You know, when I was young, I never, I never thought of, you know, I could not say something. But now I find it. It's really, maybe for something I cannot really say, for example, you know, fuck China. Maybe I can say it today, but I'm afraid I cannot say it tomorrow. A group of protesters stand along with the woman. They hold umbrellas and move backward. Subtitles. Everybody move back a bit. Walk slowly, walk slowly. Don't be afraid. How far has the riot police come? They are just over there behind the journalists. They are there and there, and the fire brigade is on its way. Don't go to the metro, the police are there. Where are they? Where are they? The street behind there. You may find a team of police just secretly. I mean, you can just report to the group, the telegram group, and then tell the others, you know, there are a lot of police out there. So you got to be careful. Protesters rush forward. Subtitles. Leave. Leave. So maybe soon will be the end of tonight. The protester spray paints over the lens of a security camera. Riot police stand at the ready. Protesters approach. Subtitles. Brothers, watch out. They have slingshots. Don't use slingshots. The riot police begin to run toward the protesters. A man is knocked down. Subtitles. I'm just a resident. Eat shit. I'm just a citizen. Save it. Scream. Just scream louder. I'm just living here. What happened? I was just passing by. 
I was just passing by. Help! A group of EMS workers hold a man in a stretcher. Subtitles. I'm injured everywhere. The nose, the leg, the big toe. What do you think about the police storming through here? It's just outrageous. They load the man into a waiting ambulance. A crowd of protesters gathers. They chant, liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our times. Situation keeps worsening every day, every day. And now we can't stand it anymore. Only democracy can save us from this disaster of the colonial government of China. People are finally willing to sacrifice for Hong Kong. Because of this, we see a hope. Police fire tear gas into the crowd. Subtitles, tear gas, gas. You see how the government already start purging everyone. People can get fired for the political stance. People can get politically censored. So just imagine what will happen if we fail. I mean, Hong Kong would become officially a police state. A woman stands between protesters and police. She yells, put down your guns. The police should be bold. Don't hold your gun up all the time. Text, September 14th, 2019, pro-China demonstration. The crowd chants, at war. Police escort women and children through the crowd. Subtitles, go back to mainland China, motherfucker. Except square words, what do you know? A woman chants repeatedly, you are not civilized. The crowd chants, remove the mask. Participants mock the opposing sides. Suck my dick. The man yells, subtitles, I'm wearing a mask because I'm free to do it, and you are here because you have freedom in Hong Kong. Chanting continues, remove the mask. Subtitles, don't move, don't fight back. Police clash with protesters. Subtitles, speak louder, speak louder, move back a bit behind the car. You go first, go first. Corrupted police, release him, release him. A resident yells to the police. Subtitles, we live in a boy gardens. You are arresting us who live here. Arrest us too, we live here. What's wrong with having lunch here? Please control your emotions. We are living here in the boy gardens. That's my son. He only came to eat. The crowd chants, Mafia. The resident speaks. Subtitles. I turned on the TV and saw the mess here. Then I saw my son put on the ground by the police on the third floor. I didn't know what had happened. I rushed down here. What do you think of the action by the police? They are just rounding up random people, whoever is young. They don't care if you are wearing black clothes or masks, carrying any gear or not. They arrest the young ones. My son didn't bring anything. He was just eating and wearing short pants, not black clothes. Protesters put police of the protesters as they arrest him. Subtitles. Don't fucking go. Don't fucking go. Lock him up in handcuffs. On the ground. You bastard. You bastard. Lock. What are you doing, motherfucker? Don't choke him. You are not a policeman. You are not a policeman. Catch the pro China's supporters instead. I didn't protest. Don't hit. Don't beat his head. No, no, no. This will get back to you. Motherfucker. The crowd chants. March on. An announcement. Our flash mob is finished. The crowd yells and advances. Traffic in the city seen from the sky. After suffering from police brutality, Hong Kong has realized that how decayed the political system in Hong Kong is. And ever since early July, we had been asking for our five demands, including withdrawing the extradition bill, not to call our protests as riots, release all the protesters, introduce an independent commission of inquiry that will investigate into police brutality. And most importantly, it is about introducing a universal suffrage 
that will allow us to elect our own lawmakers and also our own chief executive. The protester speaks into a megaphone. Subtitles. Corrupted police, you motherfuckers. Good guys don't join the police. Only the bad ones do. Hong Kong people must be united in the fight against the corrupted police. Your whole family is cursed because you are police. You still want to do it? Tear gas canisters are shot into the crowd from above. Subtitles. Go, 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 go. Protesters kick the canisters toward the police and run. A woman doubles over, coughing and gagging. A man helps her. Subtitles. Keep walking. Keep walking. I'll take her. Keep walking. A woman in protective gear approaches. First aid is administered to protesters affected by tear gas. Subtitles. Tilt your head. Tilt your head. Those bastards. I've talked with the restaurant. You can go and have rest there. Any tissue? Any tissue? When you get gas, you'll have breathing problems. I have a mild asthma. My chest is in pain. It's so bad. It's fucking crazy. Text. October 1st, 2019. Protesters set fire to a Chinese flag in the street. Subtitles. Happy fucking anniversary. Happy fucking anniversary. Today is 1st of October and it's the National Day of China, namely the 70th anniversary of the establishment of the so-called People's Republic of China. Instead of having China celebrating it, we would like to show that uh, we are against China's rule in Hong Kong. Protesters march, subtitles, the great Hong Kong revolution of our times. The British handed us over to China like a bag of potatoes. They sold us to China after 20 years of Chinese rule. Where is the democracy? Protesters defuse a smoke bomb. Subtitles. Bring some water. They place it in a bag. <laughs> Protesters gather and collect items to throw. Subtitles. It's too far away to throw them. Don't waste it. The area is too big here. It's pointless to be here. Let's go and fight in Long Chai. Theo walks along in a crowd of protesters. Subtitles. A water cannon truck is coming. Move. Move. He bangs on a metal pole, then turns and runs. The crowd runs from the approaching police. The fire burns on the street. The shopkeeper welcomes protesters inside the shop. Subtitles. Get in, get in, be careful. Go, go. Theo climbs the stairs inside and ascends to the rooftop. He breathes heavily in his respirator. Subtitles, we don't need fireworks this year. We have tear gas. So the only way out was to go into the buildings surrounding us, the shops surrounding us. Uh, it's pretty panic. And uh, I feel like we could have done more. We, we should have fight, we should fight back. These days we've just been escaping a lot of times. We didn't really have a, we didn't really have the chance to fight back. The protester in Chun Wan is shot in, in, in the chest within just arm's distance by the police. Real bullets, not rubber bullet or sponge oh, bullet. Subtitles, it was a revolver. Carrie Lam, chief executive of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, speaks at a press conference. As a responsible government, we have the duty 
to use all available means in order to stop the escalating violence and restore calmness in society. Which is essentially an anti-mask law. We believe that the new law will create a deterrent effect against masked violent protesters and rioters and will assist the police in its law enforcement. People's mentality has been stronger and stronger and they become less and less afraid of the police. The violence uh, conducted by the police has also been strengthening over time. So given that we are not giving up, uh, we will just upgrade our our means in response. Text, November 2nd, 2019. A standoff between police and protesters. Subtitles, we have nothing, we just want to go forward. Can you move backward a bit so we can go that way? Can we have a conversation about it? Let us pass, let us pass. They are putting on masks, so we may be tear gassed soon. Open the umbrella if you have one, and walk to the front if you have gear on. Raise your hand if you agree to move forward. The protesters chant, one, two, one, two, and move forward. Tear gas is shot at them. They continue. So then, going forward. Subtitles. I need water. Keep going down. Those with gear go first. Are there any stairs? Turn to the right. Are we going upwards or not? There are stairs at the power station. Watch out. Watch out. Slowly. Go one by one. It's very dangerous. It's long down. Are the dogs here? Subtitles, don't watch us like a movie, set up roadblocks. I'm scared, I don't want to die. Just look at the person in front of you, don't look down. The protesters walk along a high cliffside wall. They climb down an enclosed utility ladder. Subtitles, the fitter ones climb down this way. Go, go, go. A nearby man gives help. Subtitles, go to the first floor of the mall and take the metro. The protesters enter the mall. Text, November 12th, 2019. Rocky S. Kwan, president of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, gives a speech. Subtitles. The most important thing is to talk to the police and ask the police what has happened. I want to understand their point of view and tell them what I think. It started yesterday. The Hong Kong protesters want to like start a boycott to stop people from getting work when they set roadblocks near CU campus. The police try to come into CHK and arrest people. Two of my friends were arrested yesterday. A protest police in the subtitles will demand that the police leave the campus. The police came inside CHK to catch CHK students and brought them out. Subtitles, let the president walk over there. Everyone else stay here. Tear gas canisters fall into the crowd. Subtitles. Move back, everybody. Move back. Protesters and officers gather on either side of a bridge. Fires ignite between the two crowds. Subtitles. Fire magicians come here. Fires burn. Protesters throw firebombs toward the officers. Subtitles. Keep distance. Keep distance. Protesters hide behind pieces of wood and other objects to move in front of officers. Subtitles. When we can't see them, they can't see us. Protesters continue to throw firebombs into the crowd. The protesters have to fire Subtitles. I'm so fucking scared. The protester teaches others how to make firebombs. Subtitles. Add it, shake it, and fill up the body. The protester throws one into the opposing crowd. Protesters 
Protesters huddled behind objects of protection. Subtitles. What's happening? Protesters work to stomp out a firebomb. Subtitles. Put it out. Umbrellas. There are not enough umbrellas. The two crowds advance towards each other on the bridge. The tears and anger gathered us today here in CHK. I'm not thinking that the democracy will come easily, but we all we need to pay a price to earn it. I want to protect my home. This place that let me grow up and so many happy memories happen here. When I was young, uh, people always said that Hong Kong people are very cool. They only look at money. But I can see that Hong Kong people is not that selfish. They really care about others. So that's why they come to here and support us and also support Hong Kong. Hong Kong is not China yet. <laughs> <laughs> Protesters sleep on the track, field, and in the bleachers at the University Stadium. Text, November 17, 2019, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Police vehicles line up on a debris-covered street. Subtitles, please stop attacking the police. Protesters assemble a large slingshot. Subtitles. It's too big to go far. Big is good, so it won't be taken by the wind. A man pulls back on the slingshot cup. Another man braces and holds him. Subtitles. Okay, he fires the slingshot. Subtitles. Not far enough. A police loudspeaker says he may aim higher. And now we are being surrounded by the police, and we have no way out right now. It's like a siege, I guess. A fire burns near a highway overpass. With the police brutality over the five months, it's evolved from the political problem into a, a matter of an ethical one. Whereas some people would not have come out or would not have been this angry against the government and police. He puts on his goggles and looks toward the shooter. You see over there. I don't know how many times today, and once again, the students or a protester are fending them up with the fire truck. I don't see any way of getting out of the right now. Please spray a fire can over protesters. Test. While around 200 are trapped inside the university, other protesters gather to try to break the siege. Subtitles. Watch out for the cart. A protester lights a firebomb. Subtitles. Go, go, go. He runs and throws it. The brakes on the column next to him instead of flying into the opposing crowd. He turns and runs. Protesters throw firebombs into the sky as others with umbrellas retreat. The situation of police is a disaster now, and we want to save them. A protester lights a firebomb, runs, and throws it toward riot police. Smoke fills the streets of Hong Kong. Protesters huddle together under the protection of a dome of umbrellas. The siege at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University lasts for two weeks. The district council elections in late November are seen as a referendum on the protests almost six months after they started. A large crowd of protesters marches and chants. Subtitles, liberate Hong Kong and revolution of our times. Text, in a landslide victory, the pro-democracy camp won 17 out of 18 district councils. A man, Jimmy Sham, speaks before a crowd. Subtitles. We are not here representing a few hundred elected council members. Those who are standing here are representing the voice of more than 1.6 million Hong Kongers.
Next subtitle. Yesterday, I ran for the district council election as an inexperienced nobody. I won. I didn't win by doing anything special. I won because the people saw this election as a referendum to tell the government how unsatisfied we are. Joey Sue, a protester, looks on. I once had some like plans of my life ahead. I wanted to be a teacher to teach in secondary school to teach liberal studies or English, but then like ever after the movement broke out, I was not not spending time to plan on my own future. Having a very, very strong political stance and like being active and participating in political activities, I don't feel like I could be a teacher anymore because I guess none of the schools is like willing to hire such a teacher. And then another thing that changed would be, I also feel like none of the neutral or like pro Beijing companies are willing to hire me anymore. What the movement changed me is that I'm more determined to be sacrificing. Yes, and I believe that is also the thought of many of the Hong Kong teenagers and young adults. We don't even have the time to think about our future because like, some of us got arrested, some of us fled to other countries, and for us who stayed are still taking onto the streets every we can every week participating in events or activities that could be leading to arrest or detentions or even like years of imprisonment. And we often have the feeling that if we are losing the fight and we could no longer safeguard the future of the city, it is meaningless for us to think about our own future because when our own hometown, our own city is like decayed, falling apart. What's the meaning of us to think of our own future? So today, the group of Hong Kongers organizing a rally in support of figures, and all of a sudden, riot police stormed inside the Edinburgh place where, where the assembly goes on. And, and they're asking all the protesters to leave the area immediately while they're actually blocking all the, all the waves out. And you can see there, is actually a very massive amount of riot police right here. Text. Christmas Eve. Protesters crowd together and hold their cell phones with flashlights turned on in front of them. We don't even have the right to organize rallies and protests on Christmas Eve or on Christmas. An officer approaches. Subtitles. Everyone, can you please go back to the pavement? Some of the riot police arrested one of the protesters. Subtitles. Say your name. Say your name. Do not film. A man breaks from the crowd. Subtitles. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Without you, we were all peaceful. Riot police run toward the crowd. Subtitles. Leave straight away. Leave. Leave. Joey, without a respirator on, turns and flees. Crowds run from the tear gas. An EMS worker carries a child who has been gassed. Subtitles. Clear the way. Clear the way. He administers first aid to her. Subtitles. Where are you from? From Mexico. We are from the hotel here, a few blocks up. A few blocks up. Riot police run down an abandoned street. Subtitles. Keep chasing. Go away. Go away. The police approach the camera operator. The operator runs and the video feed cuts to black. Text. January 11th, 2020. Joey speaks. Like the experience left me very traumatized and I believe that it's also the feeling of many of the Hong Kong protesters and I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm sleeping at 9 a.m. in the morning and waking up at 
1 p.m. I'm not eating on time and I did not allow myself enough space and time to handle my negative emotions and because I was too occupied and too busy with other stuff and every day you've got new stuff that makes you depressed. Joey walks on an empty street at night. Text, in January 2020, the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic puts the mass marches and demonstrations on pause, an empty park in the city. It's really quiet here. On 29th of March, a ban of group getting of more than four people has been enforced by the Hong Kong government. But in reality, I would say this has really little effect on the protests because protests have largely been put on hold two months already, even before the ban. Because of our collective experience in SARS, because of our distrust in the Hong Kong government and the Chinese government for obvious reasons, we knew from the very beginning that this threat of the pandemic was for real. But our self-initiated social distancing also means that our protest has no choice but to be put on hold. There hasn't been a large-scale protest since late January. It's now the darkest time for Hong Kong and also for the world in general. But it is also a time when the politics of the world is rapidly changing, possibly against China's favor. So although there's little we can do right now, in long term, I believe we still have the chance to win. Text. In May 2020, Beijing announces that it plans to impose a national security law on Hong Kong. Joey stands on a street corner and hands out leaflets. Subtitles. Hi, are you interested in taking a leaflet? It's about the national security law. She repeats herself to various passersby. The security law punishes activities that are deemed subversive and separatist. The law would also allow Chinese security organs to work in Hong Kong openly and directly. I believe I must be in danger after the implementation of the law, which could be causing us like 20 to 30 years of imprisonment in the prison, or we will even be sent back to the mainland China. It should be accurate to say that general reaction to the security law is fear. I believe many people should be deleting their old Facebook posts for fear of future revenge against them. Text. The law goes into effect on June 30th, 2020, immediately after Joey Su steps down as a student representative. A tweet from Joey that reads, I hereby declare resigning from at HKHIIAD and will continue the journey of fighting for Hong Kong in personal capacity. I shall bear all the consequences of lobbying for attention to Hong Kong and sanctions on China over the year by myself. We shall never surrender. Hong Kong waterfront at night. Text. July 1st, 2020. Riot police walk down a city street. Officers arrest a man on the ground. Subtitles. All move back. Move back. Text. 370 protesters are arrested. Ten are arrested under suspicion of breaching the national security law. I actually feel very stressful and panicked right now because I've just left from the police station because one of my friends was arrested just now in the name of inciting secession of state and she is actually a 16 years old girl so i was at the police station with her mother just now you can actually expect that they will be arresting more politicians activists or random processes in the upcoming days i do think the protest will continue in many different ways and i know that hong kongers are exploring ways to sustain our social movement for example by organizing general strikes for example by like when trying to win seats over the legislative council election no matter how serious the pandemic is no matter how how brutal the ccp has gone we will try to like hang in there yes video feed of joey cuts to black Filmed, directed, and produced by Anders Hammer. Produced by Charlotte Cook. Edited by Anders Hammer, Mark Lukenbill, Bill Ross IV. 
Production Manager and Translator, Kathy Chu. Music by Martin Hornfeth. Additional filming by Kathy Chu. Drone footage, Raymond Lau. Credits continue to roll. Additional financing, Vegan Film Center, Frit Ord. Field of Vision, First Look Media.